Back on Inside Tennessee, Don Susan and the Tennessee Secretary of Stra State, Trey Hargett. Susan? Yeah, Mr. Secretary, Senator Briggs, one of our senators, has a bill in the session this time to uh, prevent people from running for two offices at the same time. As you probably know, Representative Gloria Johnson from Knoxville is running for U.S. Senate against the incumbent Marsha Blackburn. She has also uh, declared her intention to run for her legislative seat, and that has been possible in years past. Senator Briggs bill, I don't know if it's going to pass, but do you have any opinion on that and what we should do in Tennessee? Well, I think that ultimately the legislature will tell us what they want to have done and, and we'll go execute that. You know, I, I do think voters do kind of look funny at people running in two different races. But ultimately, you know, if you're on the ballot twice, voters are going to make that decision. So we're, we'll wait for the legislature and, and see what direction they give us. Every year we talk about um, how to increase turnout. We did that at the start of this broadcast. But one of the ideas that's brought up, Mr. Secretary, is voting online. Do you see any appetite for that in Tennessee or any other states for that matter? You know, I, I hear from a couple of my colleagues around the country who are pretty ambitious and, and they think they might want to try and do that. You know, frankly, if you look at what we went through during the last election, when there are so many accusations thrown out about, you know, what might or might not be happening and how technology uh, might have been used inappropriately, which I, I'm not saying that it was, um, I just think we're a long ways off from voting online. You know, if, if we find out there's fraud on our credit card, that you can get credit monitoring. Um, you know, but if you find out there was fraud at the election place, there's no way to go back and undo that. So I think that people want to make sure that the way we vote is absolutely the most secure it can be. So that tells me we're a long ways off from Internet voting. So, Secretary Hargett, one of the things that's been talked about or, or bandied about, and we'll get right to the presidential election, that should presidential candidate, former President Trump, be convicted of a felony in one of these pending cases, will he be able to appear on the Tennessee ballot as a convicted felon? Well, the only way that he would be removed from the ballot is if we have a court order telling us that he has to be removed from the ballot. Um, I, I'm one of the secretaries, though, who didn't take a side in the issue, but asked the, the U.S. Supreme Court for clarity about whether or not um, a state should be able to remove him from the ballot, such as Colorado and Maine have suggested. What doesn't get reported is both of them asked for a stay in that decision until the Supreme Court could rule. So, but barring a court order, we're, we're not gonna remove somebody from the ballot. So my question's a little different, Secretary Hart, is if he is convicted of a felony prior to the general election, different than his posture now, where Colorado removed him as a quote insurrectionist but if he's convicted of a felony we certainly have a state statute that covers that you lose certain rights as a convicted felon including the right to hold public office do you think that applies to a federal office and would you be prepared to either keep him on the ballot or uh, take him off of the ballot depending on your interpretation well i just think that the court will provide a directive about about his eligibility at that point and we would we would certainly seek the appropriate guidance from our attorneys and the courts Mr. Secretary, we'll certainly get your perspective after the primary, but any closing thoughts you want voters to understand as they head into Super Tuesday, which is March 5th? I just want them to go vote. It's never been easier to vote than it is right now in the state of Tennessee, and you've got an ample time to early voting. Don't wait for Election Day. Go ahead and cast your ballot now, and then be prepared to go and vote again in August and November, because your vote does matter, and it's your voice, your opportunity to make your priorities known to those who are in office. Mr. Secretary, we appreciate the time this morning. Thanks as always for joining us and we'll certainly call on you again, sir. Thank you all very much. We'll be back with our talk around right on Inside Tennessee this Sunday morning.